So what do you do like in your day to day life? Like what besides obviously working? Yeah, besides working, if I do get time off, I'm at the beach a lot. Mm -hmm. So um, there's this new thing, which I don't know if you've heard of them. It's called Bird and their Bird Scooters. Have you I've seen this? I've been seeing them everywhere. This is my new favorite thing okay, to do. That's, I'm so glad that you brought this up because me and my boyfriend were talking about this and we were trying to figure out like how this thing works because they're just yeah. like randomly in they're random everywhere. neighborhoods. Randomly Literally, on it's the an app. It's an app on your phone, and it'll show you um, where like the most charged ones are, and mm -hmm. even ones that aren't very charged. But you want to get one that's like a hundred percent charged or mm -hmm. ninety percent charged. And um, it's literally an app. It'll tell you where it is. You walk there, you scan it there, and you have it. Like literally, you just take it out for the day. So my favorite thing to do lately is wake up, go get a scooter with my man, ride around you know Venice, Santa Monica, that area. Um, I have a, one of my favorite spots where you can go and get. Like a beer, some fish tacos, lay on the sunshine and just chill. Mm -hmm. Like that's my favorite kind of day. Mm -hmm. Or even like I love grocery shopping. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I love doing like normal people things. So yeah. hanging out, being in the sunshine, going grocery shopping, maybe going home, making an amazing meal together. Mm -hmm. I love, um, yeah, just like hanging out and having a good time and living actual life. Mm -hmm. I really like to do because I don't get to do it very often. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, I... <laughs> It's funny. It's like the same thing for me. Okay, so I'm so glad that you. So th with the bird scooters, mm -hmm. first we just I just have to know. It's so much fun. Do you just leave it wherever you want? Yeah. Well, you can't leave it like in front of a business or okay. something like that. But like um, a lot of times, there's a grocery store really close to my house, mm -hmm. and so I will just park it like on the sidewalk by the grocery store. It's not in front of their doors mm -hmm. or anything. And I mean, I see. 10 to 15 of them there a day. Or even um, in my area, they have bikes you can rent too. So you can like leave them by the rental bikes and mm -hmm. things. But yeah, you can pretty much leave them anywhere. Because I've, I've seen them like on the street, like in the middle of a residential neighborhood, like just randomly Crazy. I don't under know if you're tree. supposed to do that, but I think people are very irresponsible and yeah. do, which they'll come and like pick them up and I think move them. But mm -hmm. if you haven't rented the scooter and you try to move it, it'll like alarm will sound off on the actual scooter. Like oh, you can't. God. It won't work and a big alarm will go off so you can't just like take them you yeah know? Mm -hmm. you're like running down the street with like all these like loud alarm scooters yes. just to, that's actually kind of brilliant yeah and there's chips in them too so they know exactly where they are right, so they right. literally have to destroy it so the people wouldn't know where the scooters were so you can't steal them you know wow. without ruining them god fucking technology is amazing I know. it's amazing yeah and you're supposed to wear helmets with them but nobody does of but, course not i mean i do because i'm like my Helmet's awesome and it's really cool, <laughs> but it's like safety first because people drive really crazy. Yeah, especially in my area. I mean, anywhere in LA. But um, yeah, you, I recommend wearing a helmet. Everyone, follow the rules. Safety first. Safety first. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so okay. So another thing that I know that you're really big into, and um, I always am so jealous looking at your posts, is you're really into fitness. I love fitness. Yes. Yeah. You are too, though. I see you boxing all the time. I know, but I'm still fat. No, you're no, <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. You saying that people are like, oh my god, Ugh. really? No, you are not. It's just this, like, I think it's as I've gotten older, it's like the midsection is a problem. I think that the I mid section to, is everybody's problem. Yeah. I just, it's, honestly, it's it's my eating. My eating is not good. It's not as good as it could be. But, um, okay, so about you. So <laughs> <laughs> so you do, like, lifting and all of that, right? Yeah. Um, well, when I first started the industry, I was doing a lot of, like, elliptical cardio mm -hmm. and stuff, and I wasn't really seeing a change in my body. Like, I got a little bit thinner, maybe, but it was, like... I hate the like skinny fat term, mm. but it was kind of like that where like mm -hmm. I didn't have shape. Like I had pancake butt, you know, like mm -hmm. white girl pancake butt, and I wanted like a lifted booty, and I just wasn't in love with my body. Like a lot right. of people liked it, but I mean, when you first shot me, like when you would first shot me for twisties, like five years ago, mm -hmm. like my body was very different than what it is now. It was like just not developed, I feel. Mm -hmm. And so I decided to change because I actually got on Instagram like five years ago and I started following a lot of fitness models mm -hmm. and they had very similar body types to me. They were kind of short, a little bit curvier, um, but athletic-y. Right. And they're like, don't do cardio, just lift. But like, I never do cardio. I literally just lift weights. I'm like, okay, well, I'll try that. So me and my man started going to the gym and just lifting and my body within a week just started completely changing. Hmm. After that, I fell in love and I just lift pretty much six, seven days a week now. Wow. Yeah, I just... I can't not. It just 
not only does it change my body, but it, it changes my mind and it changes mm. my mood and yeah. I feel less stressed out. It's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. it changed my life. I just, I love it. So you don't do any cardio anymore? No, if I do any cardio, it'll be like, I'll just get on the treadmill and like do an incline, like a 12 incline. And I'll mm-hmm. just walk on it for mm-hmm. like 20 to 30 minutes. I maybe do that once or twice a week. Mm-hmm. And that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. If I want to lean down for like AVN, I will do more cardio. Because mm-hmm. I usually like shred out like five or so pounds for AVN because, you know, everybody's taking weird, awkward pictures of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <I laughs> so know. you want to like yeah. look as good as possible. Yeah. But um, during the year, I don't do a lot of cardio. Interesting. So the less cardio I do, the bigger my butt is. Mm, so okay. Yeah. Okay. Because mm-hmm. I've actually stepped up my cardio recently. Mm-hmm. Um, I started doing Orange Theory. Have you ever? I love Orange Theory. Yeah. It's so really good. Doing... But that's both. That's cardio and weights. You're right. 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 Mm-hmm. But and I've always done like weight. Like at Box and Burn, I've always done weights. And mm-hmm. obviously, there's cardio when you're in the ring boxing. But it's yeah. not. It's not the same as running. Mm-hmm. And so I found that now that I've started doing the running with Orange Theory, it's actually helped my stamina and boxing as well. Yeah. And it's kind of helped everything. And my brother is like a big. My brother's um, an ultra runner. Uh huh. So he's doing a hundred mile race this summer wow a hundred fucking miles like that's non like they run non-stop they don't stop they run for like 28 hours straight and don't, don't sleep i don't understand i don't understand either i couldn't do it's it it's insane to me i would run for 15 minutes and die yeah but i i don't really like running i don't like running just because i've hurt my right knee mm-hmm. really seriously three oh, times oh yeah it's like so bad for you it well, I think some people are built for it. Yeah. Because like, I've definitely known friends who just like, they're just natural runners. Like, mm-hmm. they just, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, ever since a young age, they just loved it. They wanted to run, they get a high off it, and makes mm-hmm. them happy. Um, so, you really have to find the fitness that works for you. You know, yeah. I have friends that just do yoga or just do Pilates, and that's what they love, and their mm-hmm. bodies look amazing. Yeah. So, um, it really just depends on your body type, you know, what you want to look like, how you want to feel, what your goals are. So, I mean, if you're doing anything for fitness, I think it's great. Yeah. You know, 